So what would you think about having fewer unmarked police cars on Valley Road? Send us a text at 602-444-1212. Are they good for public safety or unfair for drivers? Better yet, do they encourage civilians to impersonate cops? That's what a Gilbert lawmaker thinks, Travis Grantham. And he says that's why he's pushing to limit the number of unmarked cop cars to just 10% of the force in each city. And even those vehicles that were unmarked would need some sort of marking on the driver's side door. So really, it's not totally unmarked, but you get the point. It's House Bill 2830, and the idea is to stop cops from going undercover, but also to prevent situations like we've seen, where people can easily impersonate an officer with just a pair of red and blue lights in their windshield, like this guy, a civilian who was arrested when he tried to pull over an unmarked Mustang on the 51 two years ago. If he didn't try and pull over an actual cop, he might have gotten away with it. So we're asking you this morning, what do you think? Is, are you okay with this bill? Would you like to see less unmarked police cars? Marquise Brown says probably good. They could start handing out tickets so, to these, so non-drivers in the Valley maybe will cut down on accidents. All right, Hazel says, uh, should not matter if you're obeying the law, but safety of the officers does come first. And Paul says, I would rather have them marked so it shows a bigger police presence in areas. I do see the need for some unmarked cars mm -hmm. for undercover stuff, though. Yeah. And I think that's the thing. They do serve a purpose. Absolutely. But I think a lot of people I mean, feel like there's just becoming too many of them. There are a lot here. And I tell you, as a female, when you're driving and all you see behind you is a light mm -hmm. and there's nothing else in that car and they don't always use an SUV or something mm -hmm. that you would associate with a police officer, it's a little frightening. I mean, there's no question. So we'll have to see what happens with this bill, but certainly a lot of people have their opinions on this. I know as you're you're driving at night a lot of times, oh, yeah. you just see the shape of a car in your rear view and you know you it's know either like a Crown is. Vic or like an Explorer or a Mustang or something like that and you get freaked out, so it could mm -hmm. change driving habits. But either way, keep weighing in for us this morning. We want to hear what you have to think and we'll keep bringing you those comments throughout the morning.